Hey, Secretary Donovan, um, tell us a little bit about yourself first, and then I've got a question for you. Well, uh, I'm a New Yorker. Uh, my name is Sean Donovan, and uh, I'm the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. And I have my own millennial, who's an 11-year-old boy. And oh, my. It goes to this, uh, this issue. When the president was running, uh, he felt like he needed to get up and do something. He and his friend across the street went out on the stoop and had a lemonade stand called Thirsty for Change. And <laughs> of course, ended up yeah. being able to make a difference in their community. And I think that's, we have a, a, an opportunity, as Jeffrey said, to really change the infrastructure in the game. But we also, I think the big difference is we have a president too who understands that. He will say time and again, this isn't about me. This is about everybody in their communities stepping up and making a difference. And, and that's how we got elected. So, so the question is this, how is this president different? How is this time different? Because obviously you had Bill Clinton, very interested in public service. George H.W. Bush, again, talking about the thousand points of light. Obviously presidents come into that office and they leave that office. And sometimes they're not able to achieve all their goals. How do we connect the dots from the, from the public sector to the private sector to the volunteer sector? How do we bring it all together this time? Well, I think the difference is that we are now ready as a country and as a federal government in particular to begin engaging the volunteer sector in a way that we haven't before. And look at housing. We were just talking off stage. If you go back half a century, it was the government that was building housing, public housing. Right. Starting in the 1960s, we had a generation of leaders that came up in nonprofits around the country that rebuilt communities like the South Bronx and others. And today, nonprofits are some of the most important leaders in their, uh, in their communities. They're civic institutions. They're building most of our housing. They're working on schools, charter schools, and other. The next step is the volunteer organization. And I think the Gulf is the best example of that, where we saw the largest outpouring of volunteer engagement in the history of this country. The problem is the federal government isn't set up to be able to do that. I went down with my, my wife and two kids and worked on a house where a family, the Wiltz family, was for four months living in a gutted home, unable to get help from the federal government because it was a volunteer organization, the St. Bernard Project, that had rebuilt that right. home. It was a rule we could change in two weeks, and we did, but so many barriers we have put traditionally in the way of the volunteer sector stepping up. That's what's different, I think, about this time, is this president understands we have to engage it, Patrick and others who are leading the way. We can make the volunteer sector the next generation of the way the federal government can step you know, up and that get is, engaged. That is so critical. I, um...